Um, I didn't find out who my real dad was till I was 26. Is that right? What was the circumstances of that? Like, did you did you think someone else was your dad? Um, well, like the dude that I thought was my dad at first, but he didn't tell me that they were together. Did they have like kids and stuff? Yeah, they got kids together. How many kids they have? At the time, I think they only had like four kids, something like that. They have four kids together? I think it's three kids, two kids, two or three, kids. two kids. I think they had two kids at the time. They got two kids. So she got other kids. That's what it is. Okay. So, I mean, so when you look back on that, were you like the side chick? What's up, YouTube? Hit the like button, share the video. Now, back to the content. What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews out here with another one. Um, so, we got a young lady with us today. How you doing today, miss? I'm fine. How are you? I'm well. I'm well. Um, so, are you homeless? Yes. Okay. And so, how old are you? 27. 27. Mm -hmm. And so, how long have you been homeless? Uh, like five, six months. Five, six months. Mm -hmm. So what was it that happened five, six months ago that caused you to become homeless? Uh, helping other people. How so? Um, I guess just my big heart. Helping other people, not expecting nothing in return. And then when it was my turn to be helped, I couldn't be helped. So like helping them out like financially and things like that? Financially, um, providing a roof over their head, you know, that type of thing. Family. Not anybody like just random, but family. Okay. What family members? Uh, sister, brother... So far, that was it. This time. Okay, okay. All right, um, do you have any kids? Yes, I have four. Four? Mm -hmm. um, how old is the oldest? How young is the youngest? A6, four, and one. Okay, A6, four, and one. Yeah. Um, same dad or different dads? Different dads. Different dads? How many different dads? All of them got different dads. Four? Okay. Um, and so, as far as like the one-year-old's dad, um, were you guys like in a relationship or anything like that? Uh, at one point, yeah. Okay. Uh, what happened to that? He lied about everything. Tell me. Um, I, so just not to put everything out there, but to just basically put it in a nutshell. He lied to me about not being in another relationship. When I found that he was in another relationship, I left. So he was in a whole so so he was in a whole another relationship? He was in a whole another relationship. And lied. And told me he wasn't. He was. And so um I left. <laughs> How'd you find out? Um he ended up uh I ended up contacting her because I had thought that he had got like locked up or something and I ended up contacting him and I was just like, hey, you know, have you talked to him, blah, blah, and it just went from there. How'd you know about her in the first place? Um, he had told me about her, but he didn't tell me that they were together. Did they have like kids and stuff? Yeah, they got kids together. How many kids they have? At the time, I think they only had like four kids. Like that. They have four kids together? I think it's three kids, two kids, two or three kids. Two kids. I think they had two kids at the time. They got two kids. So she got other kids. That's what it is. Okay. So, I mean, so when you look back on that, were you like the side chick? Hell, I guess. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out, like, who was the main and, you know, like, I mean, cause are they still together? Yeah. Cause, yeah, because I left. Absolutely. I wasn't standing around for that. That's foolish. Okay. I get it. Hey, I dig it. Yeah. All righty. All right. No doubt. Um, So have you ever been married? I have not. No? Okay. So let's just, let's start from the beginning. So okay. where are you from? I'm from Indianapolis. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. Shout out that big Indianapolis, Indiana, man. Yes, sir. <laughs> Shout it out. What'd you say? What'd you say, IT? <laughs> you from Indianapolis, too? <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> Y'all representing. I love it, man. I love it. Yeah, man. I used to work up there, man. I, I had a whole team of guys up in Indy, man. I used to be up there about four times a year, so. I'm familiar with Indianapolis. All right. Yeah, man. Shout out at 317, man. All day, all day. All right. And so, growing up in Indy, did you have both your mom and your dad in the household? No. No? Um, who'd you grow up with? My mom. Mom? Mm -hmm. And so, was dad, was he like active and present in your life? Um, I didn't find out who my real dad was till I was 26. Is that right? What was the circumstances of that? Like, did you did you think someone else was your dad? Um. Well, like the dude that I thought was my dad at first, uh, I didn't really have a relationship with him. I never really could connect with things on um, stuff with him. He always treated me different. So I kind of felt like he wasn't my dad, but I just, and I wasn't really, he wasn't never really around us like that anyway. So I never really had time to kind of connect the dots. And then um, about last year sometime, maybe about- All right, so where were we? Um, I think we was talking about your the guy who you thought was your dad. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so the like the dog, the dude that I thought my dad. Um, I, like I said, I never really had a connection with him. I never had like we, down to movies. We didn't have the same movie interest. We didn't have. We just weren't the same people. You know what I'm saying? Like it was like he always tra treated me different than you know my little brother and stuff like that. And I never could tell why. You know. And then when we got older. Um, and then uh, my mom had brought me to my dad, and she was like, you know, this your dad. And she played around a lot and joked about it or whatever. And then I remember one day me and my dad was talking, and I was like, you know what, daddy? I'm about to tell her we about to get a blood test. And I told her she just got real nervous, like, <laughs> like she didn't want us to go get a blood test or something. And I was like, man, it's my dad. Like, I know this my dad. Like, I can feel it. Like, like I can feel it with my family. So, you know? so, so hold on. So, 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 so. Did you grow up with the other guy? No, nah, I didn't grow up with other dudes. So I didn't really have a dad, a, like a father figure, like, like. A, a stable father figure. but that's who your mom told you was your dad yeah and so you didn't find out until you was 26 that wait you're 27 right i'm 27 you found out last year last year like like probably like a little bit before that but i was 26 at the time i was about to be 27 because i'm about to be 28 how did that make you feel like, uh and i didn't i didn't feel like at first i was angry at times kind of angry a little bit because it was like i couldn't believe that she had like took so much from me and him you know because our relationship is is a little rocky you know like we we like that's my dad i love my dad he know i'm his daughter and he love me but i feel like that um we could have been stronger and i feel like we missed a lot out on each other's life because we it's like we getting annoyed it's like getting to know another person all over basically. yeah so so, yeah, so at first i was angry but then it came to a point i was just like shit it's my daddy like and he not know like you know, like no square ass nigga, or you know, I don't even like saying he, he's he's like he's doing something for himself. He's an entrepreneur. He's he's really good. Like I love my dad. So yeah. Okay. All right. So I mean, when you asked your mom, have you ever asked your mom why she did that? Because I just felt like um, I mean, she's told me stories before about other stuff so i kind of just connected the dot together and kind of just put two of them together when it came to that situation she wanted well i mean it sounds like you're having to put it together yourself but so one of the things that we do on this channel right okay we try to have conversations with people when they're not around okay. my channel is somewhat popular on youtube and so it gets a decent number of views so she may see this video and so Probably if she not. were to happen to see this video um i mean if you could ask her that question, go ahead and ask her. Like, ask her now. I don't care. I don't, because I don't want to know. I don't care why she did it. Like, I can't, it's something I can't change, you know? All I can do is just move forward and worry about my own kids and worry about, you know, what I'm supposed to do as a mother and just learn from the mistakes that she made. So if she decided not to tell, you know, me who my real dad was till I got older or whatever the case is, then that's on her. It is what it is. There's nothing I can do about that. I can't change that. I can't dwell on that. And, it, and it's not like she's going to give me a straight answer anyway, so I'm just going to piss myself off. Hmm. So, I don't care. No, I, I can dig it. I can dig it. Okay. All right. And so, as far as it goes, like, you know, are the kids' dads, are they active in their life? Uh, for the most part. You know, got here and there. Yeah. Do they know that you're homeless? Um... Probably not. I don't talk to him. I, don't, I mean, I do talk to him to a certain extent, but I don't. Yeah. It's, everything's on me. It's me. I'm mommy. Well, I mean, do you think that if they knew that their kids was, you know, out here, that they would be concerned? Mm -hmm. Probably. I don't know. Yes. I don't know. <laughs> I don't. At the end of the day, it's me. Just put it like that. It's always me. It's always gonna be me. So you don't get any child support or anything like that? Oh, I don't. I, I'm not that type of person. And I know, and like you, your viewers may or may not feel the same way as I feel. But I just feel like at the end of the day, I'm not gonna go and chase no man and make him be there for his child. You know, if I call and they need something, either they do it or they don't. I'm not well, going. Well, let, no let me let me ask you like this, right? So let me. I get that. that I, I get that. But let me ask you like this. Do so? Do they have like solid jobs? stuff like that or are they kind of like street guys um, or are they just kind of unstable guys I mean they got they work they do their thing you know and I don't really I'm not really in their life you know enough to, to know what they got going on I don't I don't ask them their business I don't call them and try to figure out who they with where they with who, who they with for the time you know what I mean like that that's not my business so I don't I don't ask them what they do I just simply um 
call if I need, if they kid needs something, they need a coat, either they do it or they don't. You know, that's that's where I'm at. So with it. so I, I I had a lady about seven or eight months ago, right? Uh -huh. And it was a popular video and she had that same exact answer. Uh -huh. And you know, my question to her, and I'm asked the same question to you. Yeah. Is that would the kids benefit from having the fathers on a more regimental support system? Yeah, absolutely. Any kid will benefit from. So then why not? From, so then why not put them? You know, put them on that. So because it's oh, about the kids. It ain't about how you feel about it or anything like that. It's yeah, about the kids, right? Well, yeah. So that's a and that, and then B. I feel like the system. It's a it's a lot of reasons why child support is never gonna happen in my household. Um, Unless the father decided to put his, his stuff on child support, that's something he would have to go down to Why? Town to do. Um, well, for a, the system's not designed for us. It's never going to be designed for us. Um, then b, I'm not going in front of no court. I'm not going to have nobody tell me what I can and cannot do with my child. I birthed this child. I raised this child. I've carried this child. This is my child. So nobody's going to sit there and tell me, oh, well, you got to. He got to go over there every other weekend. And it, like we're grown, we're grown adults. I shouldn't have to have another adult tell me as an adult what I should be able to do and not do with my child. Now, like I said, if me and that man, we lay down and had that had that child the court wasn't there when we did that you know what i mean so we sit there and we talking and, and i tell him i say hey your son need a pair of shoes he decided not to get his son a pair of shoes his son is the one that's 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 not benefiting from that and you know you're okay saying? with that absolutely you're okay with the son not benefiting i'm absolutely i'm okay with not forcing a man to be there for his child is what i'm what i'm okay with if my son don't have a pair of shoes he don't got a pair of shoes i gotta go get him a pair of shoes the best way i can so if that means that i gotta go pick up another job and i gotta go over there and make sure that he got it he's gonna get it because i always make sure he got it anyways so that's just something i'm gonna have to do you know what i'm saying and it sucks because it's harder sometimes and it does take away from my other kids you know it takes away from all that's of them. what i was just about to say but, like six and one half a dozen same thing so it's like you know, listen, yeah, listen, you can, you I, I make, get it. You like, can't make somebody do something they don't want to do. And then even if... Well, even you can. If, <laughs> you, you can. And even, <laughs> well, to, if, even if... To an extent, you can. I get it. But I, I, I get how you yeah, feel. So the, the, the uh, trust me. The system's not designed for us. And, and like I said... If well, I, you keep we saying both, that. What, what does that mean? The system's not designed for us. Because guys say us? that. I don't hear women say that a lot. <laughs> because a lot of women ain't woke. <laughs> I'm woke. I'm a Hebrew. I'm a child of God. I'm always going to be a child of God. And no matter what my certain circumstance is, even if we got to sleep in our car or whatever we got to do, I'm still going to always be a child of God. And that just means I'm just being put to a test so that it make me and my kids stronger and they make us stronger as a team. You know what I'm saying? That's why when you walked up and I see your hat and it said, Lone Wolf, that's me all day long. I, I ain't got a whole bunch of support <laughs> You did system. say that. You did I love say that. your hat. That's me. We Lone Wolves. Like, I swear, we go over to my car right now and I act like I'm howling. My kids don't howl too. I'm not bullshit. Like, that's how strong we is as a unit. And it's because of the circumstances we go do together and it's not because i'm calling the system it's not because i'm going downtown trying to put people on child support it's not because i'm all in everybody's face and i don't do all of that i'm by myself always 10 toes down that's always how i'm gonna be so because i have a very strong belief in my god i don't feel like that i have to go downtown and go put a man on child support and not to the 10 most of them not even gonna go pay for it anyways if they don't want to so then that means that the court i'm gonna have to go back into court and file more paperwork and do i'm not doing that shit mm, i don't want to i don't sit in front of them people i don't even like them people I don't hey even man like, i don't like what they smell like <laughs> i don't like what they look like I, they judge you mental i'm not yeah. doing that shit what's going on brother and that's just my own personal belief. Now, like I said, you have other people that believe, like, they could they could be wa watching this right now or whenever you do it or however you mm -hmm. edit it or whatever, and they watch it, and they're and they, they going to be like, oh, my God, she's stupid, and she's this and she's that. And that, that's their own belief. But because I'm a very firm believer in Yahweh, I can't do that. I, I can't. I'm not going to hey, go down listen, there. Say put, less. Put no say less. You, you ain't, ain't got to go. Listen, yeah. I get it. I get I'm it. Not, All right? I'm not. I'm just not going to do it. All right. So, um, so as far as it goes, we've been out here for a few months now. Okay. Um, and that's in Atlanta. Um, yeah, um, Atlanta. How long we been in Atlanta, there. basically? Um, give or take a few months. Okay. Um, and so what's our ultimate plan? Like, what are we doing to get out of this position of being homeless? Um, right now, so now I'm just now reaching out to the community for resources and stuff like that. So I'm um, going to like different resources to try to figure out what we can do as far as like housing and stuff go. Um, because I was never that type of person either. Um, to go and cause I'm able, you know, I'm not disabled. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm young. I can go work. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can, I can go do things. So um, that was always my go-to. I'm a hustler. I'm gonna get some money. That's why I got these. You know, my pajamas and stuff like that. Like, I'm gonna make sure that we eat at the end of the day. So that was my go-to at first. It just started getting to a point where um, my my money started kind of getting funny because I'm paying two to three bands a month for for uh, for hotel rooms. You know. And it's just me. So why why did why did we have to get to the point of hotels? Like why 
What what was up like? Did we have an apartment or a house at one yeah. point? Yeah, yeah, I had an apartment. I had an apartment, um, and then I ended up losing my apartment. Like I said, because I was helping other people out, and I was also investing into my business, um, investing into things. You know, trying to um, I'm learning about stocks and learning about um, um, the uh, was it uh, for what is it? I can't remember. It's like for forex, forex. So forex. I, I get it. Yeah, I'm learning about so, that. Um, so it's a lot of stuff that I'm investing in, a lot of stuff that I'm that I'm using. But you know, I'm a I'm a single black parent, <laughs> so I have a single a single income. You know what I'm saying? Well, so I mean, uh, some people are gonna ask, you know, <laughs> um, you know, you have four kids, four different dads. Right. Why? Why? You know, you're a pretty girl. Thank you. Um, you seem to be woke and everything else, but why wasn't you woke with that stuff? Which well, okay, so you know, like I said, I didn't grow up with a dad. And I know that, like that, a lot of you hear that all the time, but that's true. So, like you know, for 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 me speaking to your podcast or you know your, your the women or men out there, you know, being a part of your child life is a very big thing. And even if you know your the other parent is is not active or whatever the case is, you know, um, if if you don't want to make them active, don't make them active. But if they want to be active, you know, let them be active. You know, because that definitely takes a toll on the uh, the child you know me growing up i didn't have a stable father figure you know what i'm saying so um so sometimes you know i would get you know vulnerable and i would look for a man for love you know what i'm saying were these guys older uh, or around your same age not my age i don't deal do, i don't age. like older men older guys okay so um so you know i would i would bump into you know a guy and you know it could have been a dude I, that i've been knowing since i was way younger you know or a dude i just met or something like that and then we would be dating and then you know time go by his relationship involved feelings involved and then i end up pregnant you know and a lot of men and whether they choose to to admit to it or not even if it's married couples i've seen married couples split because they can't handle the pressure a lot of men once you once a woman get pregnant they just change up on you for some reason and now in my case a lot of times i was the one who left you know i didn't i didn't have anyone leave me why'd but, you leave um well because you know i went through a lot of uh a lot of stuff when you're pregnant you know a lot of women will agree with you or agree with me on this and tell you um when you're pregnant it's it changes your body it changes your mind it changes your thought process you know it, whether you're a first-time mom or you know you got kids before that and you have to all you have to think about is this little person growing inside you so you have to make the best decisions and you know if you end up pregnant and, and you know that this guy maybe he's doing stuff you know during your pregnancy you know because like i said a lot of guys switch up in your pregnancy so maybe he's starting to cheat on you or maybe he's starting to do that is that what happened I'm, I'm, in some cases i'm not the type of female to stick around for that I'm not stick around for you want to cheat see you later i'm not just gonna stick around for that so if you decided to switch up on me during my pregnancy i'm not i'm not that woman that's gonna sit there and be like oh because i want the same baby daddy or i think that that's uh, or child's father because i don't really like baby daddy but child's father you know just to say i got the same child's father or stick around with this man for 30 and 40 years because i want to get married and I, i'm just i just don't put up with a lot of shit it's just me it's me it's my personal thing that i deal with so you know i got pregnant you know and um, if you started showing me signs of bullshit during, during my pregnancy, especially if you wasn't doing that before I got pregnant and then once I got pregnant, you started all that, I'm, I'm leaving. So you could deal with that if you want to, I'm leaving. Cause I'm not, I just don't, I just don't feel like that I have to stick around for dumb shit just to say I got a partner. It's I get not gonna it. happen. It's all not right. gonna happen. So, I mean, if anybody out there wanted to reach out, help or donate, do you have a way they could do that? Do you have social media, cash app, anything like that? Um, yeah, I got cash app. Okay, what's your cash app? Um, my cash app is the dollar sign ish ish thirty four. So it's e how you spell that? Okay. It's e a s h e a s h thirty four. Okay. All right. Well, listen, we really appreciate you Thank taking you. the time, answering all of our questions, um, and we definitely wish you guys nothing but the best out here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You make sure you have a good one, sweetie. All right. You too. All right.